A new book called Apprentice in Wonderland, how Donald Trump and Mark Burnett took America through the looking glass, shares what President Trump thinks of superstar Taylor Swift. From a 2023 interview, Variety Magazine co-editor-in-chief conducted the interview and wrote the book. News Nation's Kelsey Kernstein looking into those comments and how it could affect him in the polls. What does Trump say about the pop princess? Yeah, he's basically saying that she's beautiful but liberal. So then you have a lot of Swifties coming forward saying she's so much more than beautiful. She's very talented. And of course, this is a fan base that you don't want to mess with, especially right before the presidential election. So in this book, the former president said, I think she's beautiful, very beautiful. I find her very beautiful. I think she's liberal. She probably doesn't like Trump. I hear she's very talented. He then went on to say she is liberal, or is that just an act? She's legitimately liberal, he pondered. It's not an act. It surprises me that a country star can be successful being liberal. He then began again saying, I think she's very beautiful, actually unusually beautiful. And when asked if he liked her music, Trump said, don't know it well, which seems to be pretty true considering Taylor Swift went from country to pop music within the last decade. But we have to remember that Swift could have a massive sway in the polls, and this could affect Trump's numbers and ultimately whether he becomes president, Marnie. Yeah, there's no doubt Swift has sway right now with her following. What do we know about her politics previously? Yeah, so I have looked all over, and I don't believe Taylor Swift has ever publicly said she's a liberal, but in 2018 and 2020, she endorsed Democratic candidates. It's important to note that it was rumored that Swift was a secret Republican during the 2016 election cycle. In 2018, Swift publicly endorsed Democrats Phil Bredenson and Jim Cooper for Congress. In 2020, she went on to support President Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. She took an aim at Trump in the wake of the George Floyd protests. In fact, she said she tweeted at Trump reading, after stoking the fires of white supremacy and racism, your entire presidency, you have the nerve to feign moral superiority before threatening violence. When the looting starts, the shooting starts. We will vote you out in November. But let's remember that Taylor Swift has yet to make an endorsement for the upcoming 2024 presidential election. Although earlier this year, it was reported that Biden's team was actively seeking her endorsement. And Marnie, we do have to remember that her support could really make a difference in this election. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And maybe down the road, too, as the Swifties get to voting age. Exactly. <laughs> All right, Kelsey, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.